Now that we learned that state allows us to re-render our UIs and now that we saw that this is the case by clicking on this button. Now the question is how does React.js actually re-render the UI? Because it's really important that we do this right, otherwise it will cost us a lot of performance. Now what would be the worst case? The worst case would be that the whole DOM gets re-rendered upon every state change in any component. So I click this button and boom, everything gets re-rendered. That would be very bad performance wise. And fortunately, that's not the case. React.js actually uses a concept called virtual DOM, which means it has a virtual representation of the actual DOM. Now, the actual DOM is something we can see in the developer tools here, right? So that here, that is the actual DOM created or rendered by the browser. Now, the actual DOM, unfortunately, is really slow and accessing or rendering, re-rendering the DOM is really slow. So that is why React.js created this virtual DOM, which is a DOM written in JavaScript. So it basically took the whole DOM and wrote a representation of it in JavaScript. The reason for that is that JavaScript is really fast, whereas the actual DOM is really slow. So we have this virtual DOM, which you can think of looks like the thing on the right here, just in JavaScript code. And again, that makes sense since we in our render function also write JavaScript code, just in a nicer representation. So we got the virtual DOM. And now I click this button, what happens? React.js actually kind of recreates the virtual DOM a second time and it recreates it in a way that it would look like after this state change. So it recreates it and sees, okay, in the new DOM, in the new virtual DOM still, the actual DOM hasn't been touched. The age is now 75. It then compares this, compares this new virtual DOM to the old virtual DOM and creates a difference, has a look if there is some difference. Maybe both DOMs are equal because maybe we changed the state, but it doesn't have any impact on the currently rendered components. In this case, it would see no changes. Okay, I'm done, finish. Actual DOM never gets touched. But maybe it sees, okay, new age is 75, old age was 72. I need to change it. Now it still doesn't re-render the whole DOM because of that change. Instead, it will only re-render this part here, only the part which gets affected. That of course is really fast because for one, it uses the virtual DOMs for the comparison instead of the actual DOM, which would have been slow to begin with. And then when it has to re-render something, it only re-renders the part which changed and not everything. And we can actually see this. If I go to my rendering tab here in the developer tools or here in your options and then more tools and then rendering settings, you can enable paint flashing. This means the browser will now show you whenever something the DOM updates. And you see this if I reload, for example, everything flashed green because the whole DOM got updated. And if I hover over home, it updates because, well, the style changes. And now what, ha what happens when I click make me older? Do you see that? It only updates the row where the age is in. And of course this button you to some styling stuff. But it doesn't update anything else because the rest of this application is not changing. There is no need to update anything else. I can also show this by going back to my home component. Remember I have the status in my state too. And then here in the constructor for example, I'll add a timeout and I'll set this to, let's say, three seconds. And after this time expired, I want to basically just call this set state and this time change the status to one, like that. So if I save this, you see that after three seconds, this got highlighted and changed. Now I'm going to reload this and then click make me older, age changed, age changed, status changed, age changed. You see it updates only what it needs to update. That is why React.js is really fast 
and how it manages the updating and re-rendering of your page. And that is, of course, important to understand. 